Following energy loss is the reality that things have to change, which takes effort, it takes work, it sometimes requires new skills, and that takes time itself. And you can experience this energy loss process where you think, oh man, this is a little harder than I thought. Yes, it is. This is going to take longer than I thought, more, more than likely. Uh, but what we now need to be very conscious of and alert to is getting to what we now know as the, the pit. And that's that really seductive place which is going to try and tempt you to go back to old patterns of behavior. Now, here are some pit exercises. First of all, recognize when you are in the pit. And when just acknowledgement alone gives you a position of going, oh, I know where I am, I'm in the pit, rather than feeling like you're caught up in something that you have no control of. You realize it's part of a process. Kubler-Ross did this within the cycles of grief. People know that they're in the denial phase. They know they, that they are in the, in, the, in the blaming phase. And they also know when they're in the letting go phase. And it's very similar to, to the Kubler-Ross grieving cycle. The pit is about grieving, because you're having to let go of the past. Some people find this really useful to do is to journal, is to write out what they're experiencing. And this could be a day-by-day -day activity. For as long as you're in the pit, because the moment you, are, you put it onto paper, you've created some objectivity, you've created some distance, and you've created some perspective. Again, the support of colleagues and friends cannot be um, overestimated here. But the, the, the most important aspect of it, though, is the recognition of where you are, the articulation of what the experience is like, and getting some perspective, getting some distance. It makes the whole pit journey a lot easier.